filming today um, I'm feeling good I did a little workout in the morning and today we are heading to work we are doing a Houston turn <laughs> we're flying on a small plane the 737 today which I'm happy about that's what I usually like to fly if I'm flying a narrow body plane but I don't know anyways um, it's been a hot minute the last video I filmed was my de-influencing flight attendant tip video which I love the concept of if you haven't watched it um, please go ahead and head over there after this video um, but it's got great tips for new flight tents or just reminders for uh, flight tents that have been here a while like me anyways so today I am heading to the airport right now but first I am a little hungry so I'm stopping at um, one of my favorite local Denver lunch spots bird call they do different kinds of chicken sandwiches so I'm picking that up I made an online order for it and then I'll probably eat it when I get to the airport or maybe in the car because I'm hungry <laughs> so let's on head on over to bird call okay goods are secured got my peach tea which is my favorite Got everything I needed. Let's head to work today. Woo! <laughs> Trying to psych myself up. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'm finally parked, and I feel like that drive to the airport was so treacherous. <laughs> and I'm thinking it's maybe because of the eclipse that's happening tonight or something. But so many people just tried to cut me off, um, slam on their brakes, like all different people, swerving in and out of lanes. It was insane. Like it's, it can be bad here in Colorado, but it was on another level. So, um, yeah, I do little vibe checks on TikTok and, um, what is it called? YouTube reels. And just kind of like to explain how I'm feeling before and after work as like, kind of like a funny thing. And today's vibe is nuts. <laughs> I, slammed on my brakes so hard to avoid some crazy drivers that my sandwich that I got from bird call fell and um, some of it got on the floor of my seat. So that was really sad. <laughs> but I'm in the parking lot. I am safe. I'm good. Um, I was going to eat some of the rest of, well, the rest of the sandwich. It's still pretty much intact. <laughs> but my favorite thing to eat at bird call is the Southern sandwich. It's got like coleslaw and um pimento cheese it's so delicious so i got that a fruit cup that i already pretty much ate all of and some peach tea that i mostly drank on the way in so yeah i'm gonna eat a little bit in my car where i have some peace and quiet before i go into the airport um it is kind of nice to take a second for yourself because once you go in the airport it's flooded with people it can be crazy a little hectic sometimes so any chance you get to kind of have to yourself is kind of nice to do. So let me finish this sandwich, go in, and we'll see how the day goes. Wish me luck. Um, yesterday was pretty windy and turbulent, just like uh, when we were ascending and descending. But today I'm going to Houston, which I think is closer to the direction of more weather that's going on. So I'm hoping for the best. Wish me luck. And I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, I am back from my trip. Um, it's been almost about 24 hours since I checked in with you guys last. It is nighttime. My ring light has broke this week. So uh, sorry for the fluorescent lighting. I tried to adjust my lighting a little bit to help. But yeah, what do you guys think of this little setup? I kind of put my little candle and our cool little color changing light up here and I'm just kind of playing around with it. But I think it's kind of cute, my little plant too. So yeah. Um, I don't have much room in my apartment to decorate or make like a cute little set. So this is the best that we have got. But yeah, I think it's cute. 
Anyways, so I got back from my trip, um, my little Houston turn yesterday. I thought I would kind of give you the lowdown of how the day went. So at the beginning of the day, you saw me uh, in my sandwich fiasco. <laughs> oh my God, what a day. People were driving crazy. Um, my sandwich went flying in my car. That was crazy. <laughs> And a few other small things, nothing crazy, but a few small things kind of were tweaked in the day that didn't quite go as planned, but overall it was a good day. So got to the airport around 3.30 in the afternoon, right at my check-in time. And we kind of sit around and wait for our plane to get ready. And then our crew boarded and we were heading from Denver to Houston. So this flight was pretty good. Uh, the only thing that didn't go quite to plan was it was supposed to be a two hour and 20 minute flight, but when we landed, there was turbulence, side note, it was fine, uh, but after we landed, I don't even know the reason why, I think our gate was occupied by another plane, so we had to sit on the tarmac and wait 40, almost 40 minutes to get to our gate. So we did kind of have to sit around, but people were pretty good. Um, there were some kids kind of running around the plane during the flight that uh, caused a little commotion, uh, but I did my best to keep everyone situated and following the rules that they're supposed to be following and that we're supposed to be enforcing. So anyways, one thing that was kind of unique to this flight was we had a lot of passengers who spoke uh, mostly Spanish and so that's kind of frequent when you're traveling between Denver and Houston. And I don't speak fluent Spanish, but I do know a little bit more than the average person just from taking it from school these years and in college a little bit too. So I'll usually translate something on my phone if we don't have any Spanish speakers. And I did say a couple small announcements on the speaker in Spanish just to make sure that everybody was staying safe, especially like during turbulence stuff. So had to do that but i'm like proud to be able to help when i can again i'm not a spanish speaker and i'm not perfect so don't expect that from me but i do put my best foot forward and try to put all my effort in to help people when needed but yeah so besides that after our long taxi uh we because it was so long it cut into our sit time a bit we had about really only 20 minutes to get to our next gate when we should have had way longer before we had to, well, maybe 40 minutes before we had to get there. And so I hustled over to try to get to dinner at Papa Cito's, which is like a Tex-Mex place in the Houston airport. And right as my crew member and I walked up, they were closing. So I couldn't get anything to eat. And so if you put it in frame of reference, I ate my sandwich from Brew Call at like maybe 2.33 and now i wasn't going to have anything to eat from that point until after i got home which was around 1 30 in the morning so i was so 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 sad um there was like panda express open so i could have got something else it nothing just sounded appetizing to me my heart was set on papazitos and i missed my chance so that was such a bummer and I just I looked around a few other places, just decided I'd rather wait for something a little bit better, something that I'm craving. So I went to the next plane and got boarded. So we're flying back to Denver. It was supposed to be another two and a half hour flight, which it did end up being a little bit like that, not as long of a taxi as the last one. And that went fine, except for one thing. When we're in the beginning of serving our beverages during our service, all of a sudden the dim lights turn to white bright and it's probably 11 p.m. at this point. So we are not going to turn the lights that bright at this hour of the day. We wanna keep them a little bit lower so people can sleep. And I asked all the crew members what was going on. Did you guys turn the lights on? Did you, no, no, no. And it was a malfunction. So half the lights were on bright white and there was nothing we could do about it. We tried troubleshooting it. And um, yeah, we had to fly the whole entire night flight with bright white lights. So I'm sure that people were irritated, but no one like said anything to us and people were so nice to not get angry. And we apologized several times for that. Regardless, 
we landed, we got finished, done with the day. That was really all that happened. So everything else went smoothly. And I raced over to Raising Cane's drive through to get some chicken on the way home. So thank God I made it with about five minutes to spare, but I blamed everything that went wrong today on the eclipse. <laughs> I hope that that's what everyone else is doing too, because what else are you gonna do about it, you know? Some days go perfectly smooth, some days there's little blips for the whole day and that just hasn't how it was today. But yeah, how did your guys' eclipse day go? Um, I had friends that traveled for the eclipse that went to different states and I thought that was so fun and cool. I did not see any of it. Um, it wasn't top on my list of things to see so I wasn't that sad about it but uh, it seemed like a lot of people had a lot of fun traveling and going to visit to see it. So if you got a good view, tell me where you were. Did you travel? And I would love to hear about the fun stuff that happened this week. Yeah, thanks so much if you did stick this far to the end of the video. I know it wasn't the most exciting one, but um, yeah, just wanted to keep going and sharing what is going on in my life as a flight attendant. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.